Hi everyone, I'm Mike Murray, astronomer at the Delta College Planetarium and Learning Center, and welcome to this month's Sky Treasures. This may be the darkest time of the year, but it's one of the brightest seasons for shining constellations and star clusters. Probably the most famous star cluster of the entire sky is now obvious in the eastern sky. It's the Pleiades. Also known as the Seven Sisters from Greek mythology, it's clearly visible to the naked eye even if you have suburban sky glow. The Pleiades is best viewed through binoculars, revealing so many stars that it feels more like Beatty Sisters. The group is a prime example of an open star cluster, a collection of over a thousand stars that all formed around the same time and are moving together through space. In telescopes, it seems like it's surrounded by a faint bluish haze. Photography reveals it to be a nebula of dust, reflecting the starlight and scattering a bluish color in the same way our atmosphere scatters light to make the sky blue. The Pleiades are part of the constellation Taurus the Bull. The face of the bull is just below the Pleiades, with the bright orange star Aldebaran marking the bull's eye. The stars here form a V-shaped figure, and using binoculars again reveals yet another open cluster, the Hyades. At only 150 light years away, it's three times closer than the Pleiades, which explains why it looks larger in the sky. So even if the air is cold, remember the stars burn cold and bright. Throw on a jacket and take just a few minutes to enjoy the star clusters of winter. Join us in the Delta College Planetarium on the first Friday of each month at 7 o'clock for Gateway to the Stars, and we'll show you how to enjoy more of the winter nighttime skies. With the Delta College Planetarium and Learning Center, I'm Mike Murray.